committee meeting. Do we have minutes from previous meeting? We sure do. Right yonder. I'm just seeing what we have. Okay. Uh, these are meeting minutes to approve from September 9th, 2019. Can I have a motion? I make a motion to approve minutes. Second. Okay. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Then we can move on. Uh, do we want to go to DPW? Was, was tonight as well? Yeah, DPW is uh, supposed to be here tonight. I haven't seen Chris yet. So okay. School is well, here. Well, yeah, let's do school first. That's, Thank you. And I just want to say if you guys from Municipal Building have anything school related, Let's try to meld those now, and then we can, you know, check them off that we discussed them. Um, I don't know if we have an updated copy here. Yep. There you go. This guy. This uh, 50 cents. Hmm. All right. <laughs> Turn it later. All right. Times are better. All right. Times are better. Okay. So, uh, which. What do you guys have? What do we want to, where do we want to start for reviewing capital requirements? Okay, right there. Probably just start with this, which kind of mirrors the capital plan. Okay. Um, so we have the unit events at Hopkins Academy. Um, there's some pictures here. We're just kind of giving examples of some of the problems. But unit events were either uh, from 1954 for part of the building in 1965 for the rest of the building. Um, they're not in what we would call the best of shape at this point in time. What and is, what it, is the unit then? It's like a heating unit in the classroom. Okay. Thank you. Um, and unfortunately, at this point in time, the, the real problem we're facing is that the parts just aren't available anymore. So for years, they've been kind of using uh, you know duct tape and chewing gum to hold the things together. And at this point in time, as you can see from this picture on the first page, uh, they kind of just take the broken parts out and uh, <laughs> and kind of shut that line right off because it you know we just there are no parts anymore for it so um, that's uh, that's the real problem and as a result of that these units have really just become far less efficient than they could be um, if you go to page two you know again I just kind of took a picture of one of the plugs inside um, you know even the plugs are kind of uh, hurting as you can tell and at the bottom of the page um, you can see the, the tops of the vents with the, uh, the, I don't know what you call those things, the fins I guess are, uh, are broken off so things fall into the, into the units, um, the airflow doesn't go out into the classroom like it would be directed in some of the vents and up you know, toward the wall like other vents would, it just kind of goes straight up in the air. Um, on page three, it's kind of hard to see, um, not a photographer, but there's a, you can see a, a wire in there. And if you kind of follow that into the lower left corner of the picture, you can see it's not plugged into anything. Um, and that's the blower motor um, in the unit event. And what happens is these motors are so old, some of them just don't work. Others get so loud that the uh, teachers had to have them unplugged because they just can't be heard over the noise of the motor. So. Um, what happens there is instead of having the heat blow out into the classroom, we kind of just have to wait until it just kind of rises out of the vents and it, it takes a heck of a lot longer to heat the rooms that way. Um, and so as a result, again, um, kind of just wasting fuel, obviously. Um, and, and that's pretty much the picture on the, uh, on the unit vents. We did apply for MSBA assistance on this. Um, but we haven't heard back from them yet, and uh, and we won't until December. Yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be some time. If you are uh, successful, what percentage would you anticipate? Getting? Probably about thirty cents on the dollar, given the wealth of the town. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, that's a guess. We would know when we were asked to move forward, but um, it's thirty yeah, percent. that's a complete guess, but based on right. what another community recently got and what had they got previously. Um, and the way that the, the state classifies the wealth factor as it applies to schools, it's actually increased recently. So I think you'd get less than you got last time from MSBA, I guess. But you would get something. We would know in December. I mean, certainly 30 cents on the dollar, any cent on the dollar would be much appreciated. 
These are obviously original equipment, too. Yeah. <laughs> when would you be anticipating putting these in? Uh, it, would, it would be a project that would have to be done in the summer. Summer project. Yeah. Yeah, because it's it's going to be noisy and messy, and you just can't really do that during a school year. So. And what would be the replacement? Is this like a um, like when you put in in the elementary school those um, mini splits? Mini splits, or is it something different than that? I I'm assuming it would be something different than that. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, this is not my area of expertise, okay. Okay. So, so we don't have. What, um, but what that replacement's going to be. I, I don't believe it'd be the mini splits because I mean they don't use the boiler or anything, right? They're just uh, yeah. So I, I don't think it would be that. No. <coughs> Yeah, I mean, they, those things have seen their life span. Uh, I mean, they have to be updated at some point. Now. Yeah, because there's steam. I'm assuming that goes through there, or hot water. Um, the unit. It, it is um, because we had a pipe burst in the library a few years back, and mm -hmm. it got a steam bath um, <laughs> for a while before it. Even, it happened either overnight or early in the morning. So. Yeah. In these new units, they'd be um, saving a lot on fuel oil, I presume. Any estimate on that? Too? I I don't have an estimate on that. No. Um, I mean, again, just given the fact that right now, I mean, half of them are either not blowing out the air or you know just not functioning correctly. There would be a savings as to what it would be. I kind of hate to guess. All the new ones uh, work on DC motors, which is a lot more efficient uh, than these old things that are one ten volts. I mean, you're just gonna see a, a good savings on every front. I mean, the, they should have been replaced a long time. Electricity and fuel yes, oil. Yes, everything. Mm -hmm. And how, does this replace the boiler too, or is it just? No, the no, boilers were replaced. 2014? Yeah. Um, no. Before I got there. I it was before I got here too, but it, it wasn't that long Okay, ago. so yeah. those are maybe more. They're probably 10 years old. Yeah. yeah. And you're asking for the old part of Hopkins or both sections? Both sections. The newer section has units from 1965, so they're, we call them new, but <laughs> they're still over 50 years old, too. Yeah. So the modern wing is from the 60s. Mm -hmm. so, being in there. so the 800, how did you come up with that? Did you have some quotes? Did you no, have I mean, again, getting a quote with something like this is, is obviously tricky because you'd have to get a contractor to actually spend a ton of time just to give us a quote, right. only to find out that they weren't going to get the job anyway. Sure. So how did you come up with the So Jeff Mesh met with uh, the guys from Bay State Boiler, and they gave him a rough estimate. You know, we think it would cost this much per unit, and uh, multiplied by the number of units. That's how we came up with the price. I know that um, was he the one that gave you the estimate for the uh, middle school too? I'm mean, not the middle school, the uh, elementary school, because then we ended up needing to come up with a lot more money. That's correct. Yeah. So um, I was. I would. It'd be nice to have a closer estimate. But the, I think most of the problem with the elementary school was the uh, power that was required to get those distances. They had to upgrade a lot of stuff, which was mostly electrical, wasn't it? Well, I mean, that would be something that you really have to dig into. Yeah, and to, that was the problem. Kind of thing we, we we all guessed on that. Even I was part of that trying to guess it, but I mean, we never really looked at the power consumption and the um, lengths of, to, to the classroom. So they had to upgrade a lot of that wiring too. That's probably going to go bad. Yeah. I mean, you got to start off with something. Yeah, I, mean, I know, but it. the problem is, is if we have to get this and then we, it's right. not enough, then we have to wait for another town meeting to get more money and then we have to do it again will and it need, doesn't look good. And will we need upgrades again to the electrical Hopkins? It's inevitable with the way things work. So the way you can work get them too. to get into the old design of all this stuff. All this stuff is pretty specialized equipment and especially this time with the amount of work I can see it was a, it's a good guess of it. Well, I, I agree with Amy. I think we should yeah. get a, we need to get an accurate. I mean we don't know what kind of system it even is. I mean you don't we don't know what you're what you're putting in or even what type of system it is to to have a good i don't so feel like that's a like a, a a strong number i mean it probably is that but it could be more it could be a lot more which i, I mean i'm no. saying it's not needed because it's a huge it is definitely needed we need to fix it 
be nice to be able to fix it. Something like this, we can't send out to bid before town meeting and have it. We can't send out to bid because you have no funds for it. Yeah. Because you don't have funds for it. Yeah. And the challenge, it doesn't mean that we can't get clear, we can't work on trying to get additional specifics. The challenge is, no, you can't go out to bid before you've secured the funds. And then as Chris said, um, people are not inclined to give yeah. you a very detailed quote on things. It takes a lot of time. I mean, so, mm -hmm. uh, but. Um, and if it's You're, drastically yeah. different, then you phase it in and do what you can on the 800,000, yeah. get that done, and, and do the rest for the following year. It's the only approach that you can do these days. I, I can attest these guys are so busy they will not spend the time other than going through like Bay State did to give you an idea of what it's going to cost. I mean they, everybody has an understanding of what's going to be there, the unit. They can't tell you exactly which model it is. But well I don't need to know but yeah. we're yeah. asking questions. Is it is it mini splits? Is it yeah. what, you know how no, many blowers or you know, are you having to redo all duct work? It's just, there's a lot of, we don't. No, it's on. I mean, it's on. I, through the pictures, you can definitely see that it needs work. <laughs> it needs oh, to be yeah, fixed. No, I wonder what it is. It sounds like, uh, it sounds like what I'm hearing you say would be helpful is that the pictures certainly make the compelling case for the why. And what you're looking for is what we have in mind for the replacement. So maybe also including a table that describes precisely how many units Bay State looked at what they based their estimate per unit on in terms of model type, mm -hmm. and just a table that lays that out would be helpful. Okay. And if there are any other contingencies that they may encounter, so we get a more accurate figure of the total cost. Mm -hmm. So the potential contingencies might come from Bay State, we'll certainly ask them. We'll also ask for input, like Tim Nygaard would be great for that. So those are, at best, um, estimates of, of what might, what could happen, mm -hmm. but we can also, but that's just what could happen. It may happen, it may not happen. Mm -hmm. Okay, because I, I would just be worried like what happens if we do have to replace all the plumbing or what happens if we do have to replace Electric. all the electrical, mm -hmm. you know. Just I, I don't know. I don't know exactly. the school how it's constructed, like is there a basement where it's easy to run electrical and feed it up into the classrooms or is that getting into like there's conduits. Though. There is conduits, yeah, or something. Yeah. And it's overhead too. We, we've overhead. replaced those at the university, and in general, there's a, you know, as far as plumbing going back, shouldn't have to go any more than a union for pipe breaks or fitting breaks. You're gonna go back a little, because yeah. it's either force hot water or steam, whatever yeah. that system is, and the radiator is just convecting that um, warm air. And with, like you said, without the fans going, uh, it just takes longer to heat the, the room. So it shouldn't be like replumbing the building. Okay, yeah. You know, it should be not like a bunch yeah. of corroded pipes in there. Well, you could, thing. but you know, it, hopefully, yeah. it's going to be very close to where you're going to stop on each unit. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. All right. We'll get more information. Yeah. yeah. And then you have the grant too if that comes in, and you have some possible contingencies too. That's correct. Yes. All right, so locker room. Uh, the next item, so this price, as you can see, is, is a lot more exact uh, because we actually did, again, you know, we couldn't get a contractor's quote for this, sure. um, but we did hire um, an architect firm to take a look at the plans that were done way back in 2009, make sure that they were good for uh, regarding codes, so that nothing had to be changed on the plans, and then, um, coming up with an estimate to do the work. So this is actually a current, you know, I can't say it's 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 gonna be exact, of course, but it's a current estimate that's, uh, you know, actually got a lot of hours behind it. Okay. And uh, so the locker room, uh, you know, this this is uh, the locker room that was built in 1965. So I think in, in one of the pictures here, you'll see the 1965 model unibent. Um, and it, it looks a little different than the other ones in the building. Um, you know, some of the pictures, if you look at, at the page, uh, page four, that's the bathroom in the locker room. Mm -hmm. um, there's one stall, it's tiny. Um, and, you know, so when you get a, a, you know, a lot of people in the locker room, obviously one stall doesn't quite cut it. Um, 
it's not handicapped accessible, so you know there are issues uh, regarding that as well. Um, I, I just had a picture here of the exhaust vents that go out of the locker room. Um, I'll show you pictures. If, if you could zoom in on the picture, you'd see rust at the bottom of the of the bathroom stall walls um, in the picture above it. But moisture um, has been a problem in that room, um, and it's because of inadequate ventilation. Um, lockers on the next page, you can see those are original lockers. Um, so again, I mean, there's no doubt that the, the school got their money's worth out of these things because they're all, you know, 50 plus years old. Um, but you know, they're kind of they're scattered throughout the room. Some of them are put in spots that if you have people actually staying in front of the lockers, it's kind of in a hallway, nobody can get by. Um, so this, you know, this was just an example of some of the lockers that we have there. Um, now, do the lockers have locks on them? They have latches with a hole for a lock if, if and you want to. And the street brings their own lock if they need a lock. Or That's they need correct. A lock. Is yeah. that correct? Yeah. Okay. Whether they're supplied or they bring them, we keep a list of all the locks and then we know all the combinations to the locks. Mm -hmm. and, uh, sometimes they're distributed or sometimes we just have a record of something a student wanted to bring. Mm -hmm. I see you're talking about an SBA grant for this also. Would That's that correct. also yeah. be a 30% too? Or? Yeah, the calculation for reimbursement is really determined by the, the community as well. That, yeah, or the that's, district. Yeah. Yeah. It's the community, really. So, so it'll be 30 for anything. Like and that. again, I want to be very careful and completely right, estimating right. that they would tell us if we were invited in. And the reimbursement rate is not just set on the calculation. The reimbursement rate is also determined by the number of projects that they're going to be funding. And there's a whole uh, total calculation. Yeah. So don't, don't get attached to that number. Mm -hmm. It could be more than that. Um, on page six, you can just see, uh, again, there's a kind of a line of sight problem in the room that when you're up in the coach's office, you really can't see the kids in the locker room at all, which just kind of, it, you know, makes it tough to uh, kind of keep an eye on what's going on. Um, if you look at the picture on the right, you can see what I meant about the hallway with the lockers. So there's shelves on the wall opposite the lockers, and so if, if kids are standing there, you can't really get get back or forth um, through the locker or through the hallway and you can see there's you know some lockers in the front there's some in the back of the hallway then in the middle of the picture there's a couple more um, in the middle of the room so they are just kind of they're, they're scattered all over the place in the, in the room uh, and the bottom picture is just the uh, the unit vents that are in there you can see it's uh, it's all rusty and that's again from the moisture problems just based on the uh, the lack of ventilation um, we have enough lockers for the kids, or we do have enough lockers. Yeah, um, I, I did meet with Jeff today on that, and he said we do have a sufficient number of lockers. Some of the lockers are half size, so he said those are too small. Um, but I think we would be able to just get away with still the same number of lockers. Just actually get rid of the half size ones because they just don't. There's not enough storage for the kids to keep anything in there. So. And so do you have uh, like a drawing of what's going to be proposed? Um, there are actually completed plans. Okay. I mean, you know, an entire, I don't know, it's probably 30 pages of plans. But yeah. they were, these were done in 2009. Um, and you know, those were what they used to give us the price estimate on. Okay. And the plans were, were still up to code, so we were good as far as that goes. Okay. Um, I, I don't have just something to hand out that would show it. I can see if there's something. I was just plans. wondering if there's like a plan view, you know, like a top view of yeah. the locker room, just so it's like, oh, this is the old locker room, this is the new locker room. I know That's they scanned <laughs> them to PDFs, and I believe they might have given me a copy of that. Mm -hmm. If they do, there's got to be one of the pages in there that would give some kind of thing. So yeah. let me take a look, and I can send it to everyone. There's something in there that shows one area, yeah. the basic area. I'll yeah. <coughs> Yeah, or anything that, you know, so we can have an idea of what this money is going to go for. Like, sure. I'm yep. seeing, yeah, you have a one bathroom, but I'm guessing you maybe have more bathrooms next time. Exactly, know? yes. Yeah, yeah, okay. I can definitely come up with something for that, sure. Yeah, just so we know, like, oh, there's going to be three bathrooms, enough stalls, better visibility, you know, all yep. those things. Okay. Or, yeah. um, let's see. And on the last page, we have the school bus replacement. 
Um, so we have a 2006 school bus that's pretty much uh, nearing the end of its useful life. Uh, the buses in general have become pretty expensive for us to maintain now. Uh, there was a time when we would budget about $7,000 a year just to maintain the buses. I know that's already gone from this year's budget. Um, and last year, we were over $20,000. So what we're looking to do is to just get the buses on a 10-year replacement schedule. This is the old one of the group. It's a 2006. Um, and the next year of bus replacement would be in FY20. Hmm, I have the FYs wrong, I think, on this report. FY23 it would be. Uh, and yeah, that would replace the 2012. So again, it would keep it right in line with um, you know the 10-year replacement plan. And this is a 65-seater? Um, a full-size bus, I thought it has more than 65 seats, yeah. actually. I thought it was 73. Yeah. yeah. 73, I believe. Right. Yeah. Spent 20,000 repairs? We budgeted 20,000 in maintenance and repairs? We budgeted five and spent 20, yes. Wow. And I know, uh, you know Not again... Not including fuel. No, no, that's just for things that break down. And that's having a mechanic and the BPW work on it, right? Or is that uh, a well, there's a lot of items that can't be fixed there, and we have okay. to bring it outside. Okay. And, and how many do we still use a five five star? We do Sorry. use five star, yes. So how many do we have versus how many we use for five star? We have five buses. We have five. Yeah, and we use four more from five star. Not all of the buses that we have are full size. Some are. How many full size? Three full size. And last year we put out to bid the school bus options, and that bidding process basically resulted in us saying, "Let's keep with our current setup and not go to more buses being under a contractor." We did. We looked at it both ways. Actually, yeah. we had a bid with them doing everything. And with us doing the split, and it mm -hmm. still came out to our benefit to do the split. Okay. Okay. And even with the new bus addition, that expense kind of in factored in? Yeah, because, yeah. of course, I mean, well, this particular year, you'd be adding 120000 and yeah. so you'd be in the red. But then next year and the year after, you wouldn't be adding it, so you'd be back in the black again. So okay, you know, okay. You, you kind of have to look at it over yeah. the course of the contract. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. One year. Yeah. Okay. Um, and the last item we have here is a partial paving of the Hopkins Academy lot. Um, that, that's on here as well for, it's in FY23, it says here, um, to pave the Hopkins lot. We just had the cracks all filled recently, uh, in the last couple of weeks. So that's one of those items that may or may not get moved around. Maybe the, Maybe it'll hold up you know, for a couple more years. Uh, I really can't say at this point in time, but this would be just the driveway from Middle Street right over here. It kind of goes around the corner and it goes to the lot. You can see the pictures, especially up at this end, the driveway is, uh, is in pretty rough shape. And so what we did was we got a price to just pay from Middle Street around the corner and stop right at the edge of the parking lot. And that way, when we pave the lot, whenever that time comes, we'll be able to pave right up into the, you know, to the new pavement. Um, on the driveway. It seemed like there was a lot of parking spaces that had some good sized divots in it. Or at least in the Hopkins lot? Yeah. Yeah, it's it's uh, showing its age. A couple of years ago we did some work there just to fix one of the uh, the drains that we had that was mm. sinking into the ground and um, I, I think we fixed it just in time because yeah it was, uh, it was it pretty much had it. So with this would they propose to Pave over that, or they grind it down. And um, this was something actually. If we could ask Chris, he worked with them to get the price. Chris, the price that you got for paving um, the middle from Middle Street to the Hopkins lot. Are they going to remove the pavement that's no. that's all broken up? No, they're just going. They're just going to pave over. Yeah, that'll work okay. Yeah, okay, yes. Yeah, okay, yes. Okay. For that price, if we tell them to do what we call a uh, reclaiming, take or milling, 
the more expensive. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whatever leg will do the job. It's uh, based on the traffic that goes on that road. Yes. Even with the, the buses travel on there, and that's okay? Yeah. Yes. We, And then we have the technology upgrades too, it looks like was on here. We do, yes. And my apologies for that. It's actually in the packet that David emailed out. Um, we have our capital plan. Oh, okay, right there. And it's, it's um, I don't know, about two-thirds of the way down or so. You'll see technology details. Mm-hmm. And that kind of breaks down what our tech director would be buying each year with the funds that are in the plan. Okay. So Chromebooks and the Chromebook carts, those would be the laptops that the students use. Um, computer upgrades and computer replacements, there's a bunch of those, and obsolete computer replacements. There are just you know a number of computers in the district that are pretty old and mm-hmm. uh, at the end of the, their useful life as well, so that's to replace those. Uh, server replacements, again, um, in year one, and then just kind of a replacing parts after that. Uh, printer replacements, not a huge item really, just you know, if, if we have broken printers that he wants to replace. Projectors and the smart boards, um, that's like every few years he just has them where he either adds or replaces depending on if, if they're broken or if they don't have one in their classroom. And a couple other things, just upgrades to the network hardware and, and power supplies. Yeah, and who knows in five years what we'll be using there. Yeah. Right, yeah. Okay. So that total is basically one point eight million. Yep. One point seven six seven sixty. And change, yeah. And we won't know until December, you know, when we hear from MSBA if that price would come down. So let's talk a little bit about uh, calendar, if that uh, can fit into the conversation right now. Sure. All right, so we have our time meeting scheduled for October 24th. Um, even with the grant, we're going to have to borrow for some of these, but if not all of these projects. Um, if we're going to do it as a debt exclusion, we need to give the clerk 20, 35 days notice to schedule an election. Um, that takes us to Thanksgiving Day itself, so I'm taking, the, I'm, I'm reckoning that nobody wants to vote on Thanksgiving Day. You have 90 days from the fall of the gavel at town meeting to um, uh, take your vote. So that takes us to January 22nd, 2020. So sometime between <clears throat> Thanksgiving weekend and January 22nd, that's when you'd be holding your ballot uh, vote on the debt exclusion, which would work really well with your, with your grant uh, framework. <clears throat> yeah, because uh, December, of course, uh, we don't know if that's December 1st or December 31st. So, you know, sometime in December is when we'll hear it. So, if it's toward the end of the month, then yeah, it's going to be shortly afterwards. And is SBA usually pretty good about sticking to their guidelines? Or um, do they, would it be deferred off for some reason? It can be deferred off to, you know, to reapply. I mean, they can say no, and we, we'd have to reapply. Um, you know, it, it really depends on the number of applications they get and if they feel it's actually something that's urgent enough to fund. Mm-hmm. They are very good at adhering to the schedules that they set for themselves. So if they invite you into the process, then that's an indication that they're likely if you follow their rules. If they want you in the queue, they're going to follow through with funding and they typically adhere to calendars that they set. questions or any other comments about anything the school has presented here tonight? Well, I guess just the, the follow-up is will you be 
how will you get the other information to us? So are you going to email us the, so we can get it to David and then and he can distribute it, it and however sure. public meeting laws require. So yeah, and, and just so you guys know, we're just kind of digesting all the information, yeah. looking at all of it, mm -hmm. uh, asking questions, and then you know, I gotta look at my calendar. But uh, next week we're reviewing a different set of departments. And then the week after that, we'll be kind of just looking at coming up with all our recommendations for capital for the town meeting. Hmm. However, that those days work. <laughs> I think it's the 23rd and then the 30th. Okay. Yeah. Next two Mondays. Next two Mondays, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. that's it. So we'll do what you recommended. You said you're meeting the 23rd and again on the 30th. 30th yeah. So it'd be helpful if, it, if we could make the changes that uh, put in the additional information that you requested. We'll take it to our school committee on the 23rd, and then after the school committee's had a chance to look at it, then we'll email it to you on Tuesday morning the 24th. Mm -hmm. so we'll yeah. Okay. I always think to try to think about like what questions people will come up with at town meeting because that will always could always stall a project if they get fixated on well we don't even know what you're replacing the unit events with and all sure. of a sudden it's like it falls flat on its face so yeah. part of it is just how do we succeed there if we do recommend it you know yeah all right we can get that so we'll get the unit event basically more specs and more details and the overhead plans for the locker room just Kind of showing a floor plan more or less yeah floor plan and then because you, i mean these are two big large amounts eight hundred thousand and seven hundred and sixty mm -hmm. two large amounts what are you <coughs> what are you buying type of yeah. thing? what are you getting for your money okay where's the yeah. money going yeah. uh, you know i'm guessing a lot of it is because of the prevailing rate oh, yeah. right yeah. so it'd be interesting to see you know oh it's where most of the money is because it doesn't it seems like it's a lot for lockers you know you just yeah. say it's lockers that seems like a lot and even if it's town meeting, if you do have those plans, maybe we just have them mm. on like a, you know, I know the library and the senior center have done that in the past, just have a picture or oh, sure. a small plan to yep. kind of show this is what we're getting for this money. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's not just lockers, obviously. Yeah. They're That's actually taking asking. down walls and, sure. and mm. actually they're removing some of the showers because they're not used as much anymore. So yeah. rather than having, say, six shower stalls, they'll have two and more bathrooms, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, we can definitely. Yeah, it'd just be interesting to see that. Yep. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, we can do that. Thanks. Okay. Okay. Thank you. And then you. Oh, and then just to follow up, so that the athletic fields are moving ahead, and it looks like construction work <coughs> will commence um, next June. Yeah, we met with the conservation commission last week. I met here with the designer. Mm -hmm. um, they had some additional requests for some tweaks with the plans. So he's making those changes and we're coming back to them in October. Yeah. Um, you know, if they can approve it at that meeting, then we can, he'll have the final bid specs and everything prepared and we can go out to bid. So okay. it really doesn't affect, I mean, you know, it would have been nice to have it approved, say this month, but it really doesn't affect it if it's uh, next month as well, because we'll still be able to go out to bid, you know, December into January, and that's a good time for the contractors. They're kind of lining up their year, and yeah, know, they'll have it early. And it looks like everything's a go as far as the property site goes. All that is, is clear. So that's all set, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's great. Yeah. Well, that's good. So we're actually using the money that was yes. approved that town meeting to make those improvements. So yep. that's great. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you both. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Thanks, of course. Thank Thanks for having us. Will be where to start between between you guys. I mean, yours are pretty short. Okay. You're essentially just talking about yeah this year, and next year. Yeah, that's the good thing. Yeah. yeah, I mean, if there's anything we should think about long term, you know. So we, uh, we had to. There's a couple. Yeah. If you're looking at this uh, chart, yes. okay. Yep. There are some between that and, and other departments and other departments. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. Let's start there. We could start. I just want 
Christopher to be here too, just in case he has things in mind that conflict, just so we have it all in one one area. So under this chart, municipal building. Uh, Are you guys good? Do you need? Sorry. Oh no 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 no! If you had, some, I didn't know if I was uh, steamrolling your <laughs> conversation. Wait, I, no, you had I just couldn't yeah. remember. Um, was it Chris's name? Chris, yeah. What's no. his last? Okay. Deja. Chris Okafor or Deja? No, no, no. Then Deja. Deja. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Thank you. Chris, yeah. Yeah. I couldn't remember. Thank you. Yeah, no, no, no. Deja. So on here, the, the town hall security Which system. One? Oh, yeah. Actually, Deja. Uh, Deja. That was under VPW2, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and then also uh, the public safety complex expanded repay parking lot. Yeah. That's also duplicate. They had that. Okay. Yeah. So that's under Chris's. Uh, the Chris, you can come on over here. Yeah. We're all friends here. Yeah. Oh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> so, so if we start at the top, the condensing unit, we have it for 2020. Uh, Gary says if that's one of those things that, you know, you're playing with money, yeah. you can push that out a year. I mean, the, okay. they're being maintained well. Wait, um, you're going too fast for me. Where, where are we? Town the first Hall, one, the condensing unit. unit. Top one there. Uh, the $15,000. Oh, so Gary Berg said, I mean, we can push that out a year. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay. Right okay. And if you're really, really short of money, mm -hmm. which I prefer not to bump, but the counters can be bumped. But I, I, that's something we've bumped several years now. Like to, office counters, this is in- uh, Town hall, your place office. This would be like the ones in the clerk's yeah. office. Clerk, assessor. Town hall. And, yeah, and the assessor- so the Assessor we kind of took out. We've, right? take, we've yeah. taken that out mm -hmm. of that, uh, that line item. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's clerk and collector, basically. Yeah, clerk, clerk yeah. and collector, yeah. So, I mean, if you you can push it out again, but mm -hmm. that would be something. Um, the windows, 2021, uh, I think that's a good place for it. So we'll do what we can. I mean, when we get into 2021, we can look at the pricing again. I'm sure it's going to go up, but everything goes up. Uh, we've talked about uh, the scraping and repainting of the exterior. We finally got the specs for the uh, columns mm -hmm. and I've talked to Dave, we're going to try to get those out and get the columns painted for the spring. Okay. I think what you're going to see is when those columns are painted, you're going to see such an offset of colors that people are going to question. And it is, and we're, we are seeing a lot of degradation in the painting. It's starting to peel in some some areas. So that's something that we should really look at. It is our town hall. And we should think about painting that. Mm -hmm. So you said the spring you're going to look at that? Yeah, I think. I now think it was on right. the warrant to give back. It was on the warrant to give back, but uh, since we got the specs and since we've run out of painting season weather, um, and it's going to be automatically returned at the annual town meeting anyways if we don't use it. Um, let's uh, do it right and let's uh, bid it in the spring. Okay. So you're going to get back and then a reapply. That's the plan. Uh, no, if we can commit the funds to the project, then the funds are there for the project. Um, the 35000 Is it 35000 35000 Right? That's what went, that was what CTA granted before. Yeah. And so, I don't follow, so why are you going to, you want to commit those funds? I want to commit those funds, so I'm withdrawing them from that. You're uh, withdrawing it from there. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's what I want. Okay. And uh, <laughs> I thought you were going to leave it on there. I was confused. Yeah. So sorry. Once, once we bid it out, we're talking about the late October, early okay. November, and I, you know, Tim and I agreed that that's not good painting weather. No. So. Glad to see it's going to move forward. Yeah. yeah, that's what it's there for. Okay. Uh, basement windows. Okay. Uh, we need to do those. I think it's going to save some uh, quite a bit of energy. We get those old wooden windows up and get something new. 
Is there anything that I know? It, this, is, this is the tricky thing is we don't have, like we don't have go-to person. Maybe Gary though. Um, just like, is there any kind of, you know, mass saves type equivalent for municipal buildings where we can get some kind of? I think we've gone through the mass save. We've done times. that. Yeah. Okay. But they. We can check it, but I don't. I, I'll have Gary to look into it again. But yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if we can save any money on that. Type of thing. Not really. Um, and now it's, I don't know how many windows you have to do. I think it's four. Yeah, I don't know. Four or something. Okay. Um, and a lot of these too, I, so the windows mm -hmm. and some of that, I know you can't show of being maintenance, but to replace a window, you show it needs replacement, it's preserving, you sh it's, it's, you can't, it's, it's a fine line, you can't do maintenance, but I'm just saying, uh, we'd love to put it in CPA. We, and and we need your support on that. My recommendation is that we see it for now. Yeah, it's just yeah. the wording of it. It's all about the wording. It has yeah. to show as a special it's wording. It's gone through a couple times with them. Um, they've rejected it. Well, Maybe the, now with a, a difference, it might go through. Well, I'd like to see the CPA money used for these buildings. We would love to. But it's all about, a lot of times, it's about the wording. So we just have to make sure the application's in there when it needs to be in there, and that wording is correct. So we, ahead of time, we just have to review can, it. Can somebody from CPA help us with that sure. sometimes? That would be fair. <laughs> if, if you want to critique wording. That's fine. I mean, that's yeah. because that's what happens. It goes to Boston. They say, oh, no, and then we have to figure out what the wording. It's just about the wording on a lot of it. But I don't see why I can't go through it. It's, windows should be able to. Okay, the next item, the new basement conditioned room. Now, this one we talked about extensively, um, Gary and I and, and a couple other people. The reason we put that in, and that was a couple years ago, was because, or a year, at least a year, it's because we're all running out of room, especially I am. But uh, with the new software that's that we're talking about, the new I. IT mm -hmm. uh, grant and the and, and we might be able to get away with not doing it. What we're talking about is storage of files. All right, as you know, I cannot ever throw a piece of paper out on any existing building until it's demolished. We haven't really demolished many buildings, so everything's in there. Well, you got all hooker school now. Take <laughs> <laughs> that out of there. And, and, no, that's going to go in the historical room over there because that's a, those prints are over almost 100 years old. But we have a lot. And we're now in the process of going through this whole uh, scanning procedure. If that's really successful, we might be able to not need that room. So it might be something we can scratch. We can forgo. And I'm sorry, Tim. I, I got a little confused. There's town hall basement windows. It's seven thousand, and then above the third line, it's town hall basement windows and insulation. Are those the same thing, or are those different things? Or am I? Uh, I got town hall basement windows and insulation. Town hall duplicate. basement windows. That's duplicate. It's okay. Du okay. Yeah. Sorry. Town Hall, new basement condition room, that was where we were at. That's a question mark. Because yeah, I I would say, let's let's put that as a question mark for now. Mm -hmm. If we if we are as successful as we hope to be on the scanning and yeah. everything that we could eliminate. And we're kind of implementing that right now. Yes. Weren't we're you guys starting right. some training and different things? Yeah, training yeah. on Thursday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the first of hopefully a two or three that we can talk to and see what would be the better system. The other ones are so far out, let's just jump over to, um, again, the public safety expand repay, that was a, that's a duplicate back to the fire department. HVAC duct work and the venting, that's being done as we speak. Okay, so we can remove the 40,000. 
expanding and repaving? Yeah, because it's also it's already in the fire department. And then the seven. next two you can take out also. That's being done right now. HVAC ductwork. That turned out to be uh, one of the projects that uh, you'll never see probably happen again. That's uh, come in as a lot less than we ever expected because when we actually all got up there together in the attic uh, one hot summer day, we figured out a better solution to the problem. And uh, we and that was Gary Burr mm -hmm. coming up with that and saying, how about if we do this instead of that? And the, with the architect there and the uh, contractor and everybody said, yeah, never thought of that. Mm -hmm. And it saved us a tremendous amount of money. Nice. Nice. And that was when we approved, we've been Yes, about we've been working on that for several yeah. years. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Okay. Mm -hmm. Interior painting, definitely for, uh, for 2021. And we'll just jump through a lot of the other ones. Um, now, Gary said that in his opinion, uh, the, uh, the vinyl flooring in public safety complex and the carpeting, and especially the windows, we might have to start pushing those forward. Public okay. safety, vinyl flooring, the carpet, and especially the windows. The windows are starting to fail. They're they're not staying up when, and they're 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 not sealing as well as they should. When but you say just push it forward, how far forward? Are you talking about? Two to three years forward. But we'll, uh, we'll, what we'll be doing is the Municipal Building Committee will work with uh, Chris, DPW. We'll come up with a better projection later on for you guys and get better, get some real costs and uh, come back to you okay. next year. Uh, and, and we'll do also do the same thing with siding. Uh, I think we're kind of split on what to do with the siding on the uh, public safety complex. That stuff was the cheapest stuff you could possibly ever put on. Should have been. What was it? What is it? It's vinyl siding. It and it's, it, yeah. you touch it in the wintertime. It, you hit it in the wintertime, it cracks. So it's not the good, we'll, we'll evaluate that a little bit better. And while Chris is here, we can talk about um, DPW with regard to um, his thought process. And unfortunately, we municipal building hasn't brought Chris in mm -hmm. uh, to, uh, into the committee to talk some more about his thoughts about what to do with the aging trailers. And uh, we understand the issue is in the past we've to a contemporary made it permanent and what I think that why we're all here now that we don't ever want to do that again but you know the, the, I'll give that thought process over to Chris on what he'd like to see in the future because it, it's really his what do you think we should do, Chris, <laughs> on, on trailers? I mean, those the, are, the, those um, are in bad shape, and I worry about uh, people's health. Too. Yeah, I must. Uh, I must uh, thank you, Tim, for at least since I've been here for your concern. But uh, my own little um, experience and my humble opinion, I would recommend that a town do not give us trailer. <laughs> I also recommend that uh, uh, if it's feasible, uh, the town should shut us down and get a rented place in town temporary for us. Uh, I've told Tim many times, he has the legal power to shut us down, and I will go to the chairman of the select board and say, we don't have a place to walk, <laughs> uh, so that the town can rent a place for us. My, uh, um, 
It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't depict. It, it doesn't depict the time properly with the trailer. Hardly is better than that. And uh, with the notion that 15 years, 20 years, we're still in temporary mode, I would recommend that the town don't give us trailer. So, I mean, we do have some possibilities. One is not going to be the Russell School. <laughs> no, no, I don't know what. But you know, there, you know, it right. would be a good one. But you know, I, 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 I worry about the condition of them. Uh, renting something could be a possibility. Um, Chris says we'll shut them down. And, you know, you're the building inspector. You, I, you got know, it, you got I think it's a mutual part. decision. <laughs> yeah, I know. And I said, well, I can always, since I'm retiring on um, the 16th oh. of April, I'll shut them down the 15th. <laughs> 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 <There we go. laughs> I could do that. Welcome to your new job. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think it's, I think of all the things that we need to look at, it yeah. is something that's getting to be on the forefront. Because it's not just a physical area that people can work yeah. in. I, I really, really worry about this so bad that um, it, it could be a health issue yeah. that we need to think about. And I, I hate to get to the point that in the middle of winter, something happens to the point that we got to take people out of there. Where do we put them? Right now, we don't have a place, no. and we'd probably be on emergency uh, trying to find some um, used office trailers, which nobody would want to do right now. But I think it's a serious concern, and we really need to keep it on the forefront to deal with it, because um, you've got it. One of those trailers is over 30-odd years old. The other ones were used. We got those from the school over here, um, and they've, they've seen better days. So, so on that topic, Chris, what do you have? You have, just to skip to the DPW real quick, we have one and a half million dollars for a DPW facility. What yeah. are you, what are you thinking, or what are you, I mean, I, I, I'm on the same page. I think we gotta do something. I think it's a terrible time to take this to the town, especially on top of some other requests we just presented with and all the spending we're doing on the buildings in town. But, I mean, it, it's a ticking time bomb down there before something goes wrong. And, yeah, it, it might be the right thing to shut it down from a health and safety standpoint so that we have to do something. I got a tour in there. I don't know. It was, I, I, we got to do something. Yeah. We got to. We can't say that we don't have the money. We got to just do something. I, I feel Mr. like... Chairman, I was, I was, Mr. Chairman, I was looking at... At the a low cost system, modern, modern, uh, modern buildings are very cheap to put together. Mm -hmm. Even if the town looks, the 1.5 is not, even a, a million dollars or 900,000 can even give us the same space. We can do the foundation ourselves. Hmm. And Tim will inspect us. And then we, it's usually modern buildings are. Are good because they are prefab and they are skeleton building shell. So we can, we can even to cut the cost, do the foundation ourselves with the DPW, and then we, I call it advanced trailer in it for lack of a better word, but it's better than the regular trailer. Yeah. It has uh, and um, it depicts a building, it depicts a, a space where we can walk, and the. Um, and for this, what you're proposing, are you thinking just offices, or are you thinking offices and a garage, <coughs> garage type space as well? Yeah, it, it will be. How many square feet? Are it will be. It will be. It will be offices and some storage and and uh, rooms for repairs. For example, our water division don't have a, a good place to repair things, mm -hmm. and they cannot use the current garage we have. Also, we are also uh, looking at the elevation for so that we can be able to at least uh, do some minor or some wash of our trucks. Mm -hmm. Right now, we the way we operate right now, DP is very nervous with that because 
we wash everything outside and it goes into one drain. And <coughs> that's basically the chemo. Uh, it's one of the things that they, they're very concerned about. And so we don't wash it, we don't have a wash pay, we don't have, so with the modern building, we can even get a, a bay out of that. So I was requesting 100 by 80 because it will cover many things that we're looking for. Mm -hmm. But if we go the route of bringing the funding down, then we may need to either cut some of this off and get office. Right now, we don't have, um, we don't have, uh, we, for lack of a better word, <coughs> I, don't have my, I don't have office to do work. It's very tight. Um, my staff, we don't even have a room where if Tim shows up and I wants to discuss with me or some plan, I don't have, we don't have a room to sit down. So the chairman comes to my office, there's no this place to. <coughs> so it, it doesn't, it, it's very tough for us. My thinking is, I know the town is going through a lot of uh, projects all at once. Um, the, thing, the only thing that came to my mind was the modern building type, type where we can also, uh, in kind, the department can, can we can do some of the foundation or or be part of the process to do one or two things. We have. Um, we have staff that can do. We have staff that, that are good in buildings. Uh, we also, uh, Tim is also an expert in that, and he can also be supervisor. Supervisors. We have. Um, I'm I'm good in building. We have also Mr. Gerberg, who is also certified uh, construction inspector. So there are a lot of things we can do. It's just I don't know which part the, the town wants to go. Um, my so, budget, I'm so sorry. are we thinking like with this money we would set the budget at 1.5 and then go to an OPM or some kind of designer or architect and say this is what we have for a budget, we can't go above this? You know? No, it, it's a, uh, we, 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 most of these buildings, we don't need, we may not need OPM because that would be additional cost. So these buildings are already pre, oh, we just need to tell the manufacturer, in this case, Morton, we call it Morton building, but it's not only Morton, who does that, this skeleton buildings. Uh, this is what we're looking for. They, we can, we can just even design it ourselves on the paper sheet, or they can even use a graphic design, so, okay, we need this office, this is a space. And so the building comes in, we we'll call it sometimes skeleton building, because it comes in empty, and then we can. Yeah, I'm just place. thinking we have to, you know, we have to send it out to bid and we have to do all the drawings for that, you know, so we have apples to apples. I, we, we, I, I, the we, only reason I'm questioning you is because I, again, this goes back to like the town meeting yes. floor. How do we present this on town meeting floor where we're saying we have a design, we want to do this project right, you know, we have all our ducks in a row, we don't want to get into a point where, and this happens with a lot of projects, we go, we pitch them, and then we go back again because we pitched it too low. Yeah, we have to repitch it to get more money for the project. Yeah, Mr. Chairman, in this kind of thing, we don't even need it can be an RFP. Yeah, we need these are the things we need. It's a pre pre filed bill. There are two or three companies that we submit. Uh, if we go the route of drawings, yeah, it will be more expensive for us. And then it will be it will, it will not be a prefab or what but it becomes like what has been done in the past. Uh, Tim may correct me. Uh, I was, a few years ago they had a couple of uh, architectural drawings for DPW, and I didn't. Yeah. Uh, that didn't go. Oh, I'm just thinking if you send it out to bid, you need some kind of spec yeah. to say you need. But if you go for bid, you can tell them what you're looking for, I, and it comes on that RFP so that people will and submit to you what, based on the language. So you are not tied down to a particular a set of plans. And then at, as you review those RFPs, you can begin to, because there are many, many options. Yeah, and somebody, so you can take some out, put some in, and that's it. Well, municipal building, we do have to get Chris in and start talking about this, but yeah. I mean, our thought was, 
there's a lot of issues down there, and, and certainly the sewer is going to be a, a priority too. Down mm -hmm. there. We could, uh, we. Uh, the nice thing about the, uh, getting the trailers is we can get them right away. Get those things replaced. Have better facilities right there for them. We can get our um, on-call consultant to start working with Chris mm -hmm. to come up with a good concept plan of the, the entire yard. And we've done this, it was a long, probably 15 years ago we did it, and had a, a large uh, addition on the south side. What stopped that whole thing was the uh, fuel tanks and replacement of those because they just got replaced and unfortunately quickly so, I and, and I know where Chris is coming yeah. from because you always worry if you do something now you won't get something later I'm not a big fan of the trailers doing more trailers because it's just <laughs> it, 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 you look at where we are right now and when I started on finance when I very first started, that was the very first thing we were going to focus on. It was the very first thing that we all talked about. We got to get rid of the trailers. We got to get rid of the trailers. Yep. And that was years and years ago. Yes. And, th and then the library cut, and then the yeah. senior center cut. And so, I'll, you know what? I think we need to fix yeah. the TPW, get we rid of the trailers. Need to fix it. Yeah, I just but think you just need do to it right. Fix it correctly. Yeah. But it's going to take quite a number of years. That's the issue. Well, because. It, you know, Chris has a lot of issues that he needs to. He, he's, he has, well, he can do different phases, sewer. though. Yeah, but you got to have a concept. Because you, you, it's such a small site down there. If he has sewer, he has to um, enlarge the sewer plant. That's going to create a problem down there. So you start increasing that, and you're going to be pushing other stuff aside. And it's just mm. a very, very small site. Can you do it? Yeah. But I think it really needs a lot of forethought to make sure it's done properly. I'm not, and we have to get, we, we, I know we're out of the old mode of not replacing anything. Uh, we, that's why we're all sitting around here, mm. doing things the right way. I, I'm just worried about a very, What's your plan, Chris, about the sewer? Time bomb. Uh, the sewer, we, uh, the, the select board is looking at it right now, Anneli. Uh, somewhere, there are many, two or three tracks that the select board may decide to take. I don't know how, I don't know which one yet. Either one is, is expensive. We, uh, we're almost 80 percent. So the time will come, the select board has to authorize us to come up with some plans for DEP before they get to us. Or the select board may also have different options of looking at outside the box, for lack of a better word, uh, a, a community, community, two or three, four towns together to see if that will help the select board. So we are working on, we're investigating that right now. It's still in a preliminary stage. So we'll be able to, to, we'll be able to come up with some options select board. But either one will, be, will cost money. Okay. We also at the level of uh, where the select board is dealing with the sewer issues right now. So there are a lot of uh, complex things on that. that way. Yeah. Get, getting back to the trailer, um, when we all walked through them, the, the oldest one, which was Mike's office 30 mm -hmm. years ago, um, that thing is really ready. And even if he got the funding to put up a building he wanted, we're probably talking two years away anyways. and that oldest trailer may not last another couple of years. You know, the other front two, they're bigger, a little more spacious, they look like heck when you go in there, but um, you know, the one in the back is really... I went through it, I got a tour right before Chris started, and I got a, and Marlo brought me on a tour, and we went through the whole thing, I couldn't believe it. And I, when I saw where they were, you know, there's a little space for you to rest yes. Yes. or to eat lunch or even the bathroom. Oh my That's God. pretty bad. Yes. It was, and, and it would be an easy sell at town meeting. You just have to take a few photos. Yes. And we, you wouldn't believe that people could, you do not yeah. belong to, no one should have to work in that type of environment. I agree. Um, so. But, but I guess what I'm getting at is maybe we waited too long to replace the trailer 
to wait for a new building to be built because you might be caught in between that today and so when the building is open. So, right, because so, it takes a little while. So the temporary, if you put a new trailer there, how are you going to build a building there if there's a trailer there? Or rent. That's, that's for somebody. Rent. rent. So how, yeah, how about the... Different you know, location temporarily. Right, temp yeah, move to... Well, can rent do it? I, I prefer renting. Than renting. Trailer. Oh, yeah. yeah. They're a lot cheaper, yeah. too. Because if it's we put a trailer well, there, actually, then we can't put a building to move from the same into spot. It. Renting is not the option. It's buying used. We have a... No, no, renting on years. office space, right? No, yeah, it's yes. just office space. No, no, but just I'm saying renting office space, not renting trailers. Well, the other option is... It's good way. Good way. Right. Well, they're good one, but that's can we well. That's temporary, that? so that you have room to build the tr building. Because I'm thinking, if you put the trailer there, mm -hmm. then you can't build the building. Because then right. we're running into the same problem, mm -hmm. right? Correct. Mm -hmm. But but there's a break room there for the not the you know the staff that's out in the trucks on the road. You know, isn't there a break room for those guys there? Not necessarily the office people, but yeah, the you know, people that yeah. are out working. It's a small, it's a small, yeah. it's a small, room. it's a small yeah. space. It's but small. if that break room was not right at the DPW facility for a little while, or there was no break break room, how would we handle that? I guess we we just that's, that's my only concern is their need of facilities for the guys that actually that are working there. Like I could see administrative staff, okay, we can rent an office. Well, maybe possibly the fire substation. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's that's the, the substation, there's a, there's a big one there. It can accommodate DPW also. <laughs> and the substation. You're talking about the one in North Harley? Or? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, a, that's a, especially now they are still, we just starting, so as if the land is huge. Yeah, there are some options, yes. And I think as long as we keep it on the forefront, this office space, even right downtown, that can yeah. be mm -hmm. rented. We've got yeah. good wind coming yeah, up. Yeah, like the office it's space on can a be temporary one. Basis right, too. office space can be one thing, and yeah. a break room and where you put, put the trunks yeah. can be a different place. Yeah. Anyway, I, so uh, just to move on so we're not stuck on this all night, I think we just keep it here for now. And we, you know, continue this discussion with their with our committee to see what we want to decide, sure. and then go from there. I it feels like we all want to do something. If we have money that's voted in at town meeting, we have a lot more options to actually do something. You know, mm -hmm. so I, I don't know. But yeah, okay. <laughs> Okay. What else did we have? So we, I, I think that was a great discussion. Yeah, and you know, that. what's the other stuff is pretty small. I you got. Oh yeah, that's salt shit. So that's way out. That's way out. Okay, sorry. The oh, the Goodwin ceiling. Yeah, I mean, as soon as we get everybody out of there, I think it's the time to start upgrading the stuff that we've been talking about for four years. So. And so, so we can always use that building. Mm -hmm. And should should we be doing anything to research possible uses into that building, or should we have anything along those lines? I don't know exactly how we're going to temporary DPW. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, <coughs> it's, it's meeting rooms. I it think could meeting be rooms voting. would be great. Yeah, it could be a place to vote. Places like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have to start talking more about yeah. doing that. You just have to get the shell yeah. ready. You yeah. have to get the shell. And the, these improvements are just kind of shell improvements. Yes. Not necessarily That's correct. Hard. Yeah. They've been around for a, uh, quite a number of years. There's issues there that we need to address. Yeah, the bathrooms for sure. Okay. 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 Uh, oh, we have North Hadley Village Hall bell removal bird mesh deterrent. Okay. I keep the birds out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Great. Anything, anything else you guys have to add? Or? Mm -hmm. I think we talked. Any more questions? So, just the expand and replace parking lot, that'll be fire department. Mm -hmm. The one that, here, I'll just go to their public building real quick. Mm -hmm. Emergency mm -hmm. generator, that'll be a big one because that was one we put on hold last year to do this year that was that used to be a municipal building as well 
parking lot. Looks like that's 2021. Then fire department roof and bay expansion. Okay, good. That's not this year or next year. That's Twenty five. Okay. That's good. Okay. 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 Oh, good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. Do you need me to stay, Chris, for anything? Um. You you brought about. Uh, the West of Commons. I, oh, oh, the West Street. Uh, oh, the West Street. I you talk no, about, I did not talk about, about uh, commons. You talk about Gazebo. I, I did not. That's a good point. Where's that? That's in here. It's under. Is it under highway or is it under? Uh, it's uh, the uh, from municipal building memorandum. Yeah. Where is it on? Yeah. Oh, right here. So that yeah, the memorandum. Oh, it's in our minutes. Right. It's in oh, the, it's, the, it's in the agenda. The list. Mm -hmm. It's in the memorandum. Mm -hmm. yeah. Number seven. Oh, it's, it's in the memo. Oh, well, we don't have it listed in, no. in the plan. No. No. Okay. Yeah, I think I think what I did was um, I just went off this grid here. And that wasn't, wasn't there yet. Not yeah. there. Okay. <clears throat> I know, Chris, you're working with CPA on that uh, project, right? Yeah, it's, it's, it's still a, it's still a, at. Uh, um, I just finished uh, today. Actually, I got some, um, which I will be forwarding to the board. Uh, on the concept, the various concept, the um, the uh, funding to uh, do some the uh, preliminary concept uh, got the landscape architecture. Who they designed a couple of uh, parks in uh, Northampton uh, went through. So they've uh, given me some numbers which I will present to CPA to see. Hopefully. We'll get some money in the next time, in the next uh, time meeting. We'll it's late for this one. Uh, Fifteen thousand dollars to do the concept, and uh, that's okay. If Fifteen thousand for the concept? Yes, I just got got it uh, printed today. I'm sending to you and this board. But, um, but in fact, if we the, so that they, they had to put some concept together and come before the. Select board. Then, based on the board's uh, approval, I will go to CPA. CPA is aware of this process, so they cannot wait for us to. And then, the, the uh, I'm, my 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 take is a very big, large goal, could maybe may take two or three, four years to accomplish each part. But they are putting this concept together, and uh, in that concept. Gazebo will be part of it, uh, different other things will be part of it. Things that will bring people to attract them to the location. And then, so there's a lot more. Yeah. I mean, yeah. For now, we're starting to try to use the White Street Commons. Yeah. So yeah. I think Chris's idea of trying to come up with a concept design of a, a, a layout of it instead of what we've done is piecemeal it uh, might work better. Yeah. Come up with something nice. Talked about the gazebo bringing that back again in front of CPA, but as a as a park design, yes, yeah. well, I think that's a great idea. I think that's good to have a, kind of a good concept and it's maybe something they can chip away at, you know, mm -hmm. do good things but have a, a vision. Right. It's good. Just, just a suggestion, which maybe doesn't totally pertain to this, but um, maybe some enforcement or no parking signs in certain areas of that common. There are big mud holes and everything else. And, and that can make it better looking right now. The, the, the echelon area. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's been. Uh, yeah. Well, we talked about maybe doing something with parking meters or something there, too. Yes. Well, I think we've got to push the owner to actually utilize his parking mm -hmm. area in you know, the other building that he purchased and, and get that pushed. And I, I think we can do that this year. Um, and 
that will help that whole area and get it back to what it was supposed to be. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, Thanks, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Personally, so if we can focus on like this year, this year that yeah, would be great. Yeah, that's what yeah. I want to focus on. Yeah. I have, um, and this year, I um, we have, um, we like to replace our John Deere mower, which uh, basically it's a commercial mower. The guys have been using for years now to mow the lawn. It's very right common. Uh, it's we are asking for thirty thirty thousand dollars for that. It's, uh, and also we need that for, for yeah, the uh, uh, Oh, mower common yes, place right. number Third ten. One. Third, Third one. one. Third Third one. Third Third one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Thirty thousand. Thirty thousand. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Good. Because uh, I thought it was the two hundred and five thousand. I'm like, that's a big mower. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, I also 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 request. I'm requesting that the board should give us. Funding for a back truck. Um, currently, just before I arrived, the board gave us hundred thousand for a water wastewater truck. And then when I arrived, the additional forty thousand was given to us because the hundred thousand was not was not adequate to get the wastewater truck. So we have a we have hundred and forty thousand dollars right now. Mm -hmm. But after my arrival, and I did some study. And what we really need, and also with uh, the MS4 and storm water regulations, the back truck happens to be a use, a better truck for us because it does everything. The wastewater truck would not be uh, we would not be sufficient for us because we don't haul sludge every day, mm -hmm. and if we have a wastewater truck. Then there's a pressure on the select board to give us a class A driver to drive the truck. And then we also have to have uh, pressure to maintain such truck. And it will not solve our problem. For example, we have uh, our pump stations, we have the wells. With the back truck which goes there, clean the wells. Our our storm our storm drain, our sewer pipes, currently we hire a vendors to come in to clean the pipes for us. Vac truck does that, and then if we it also we take all the spoils. With the vac truck, we can also flush by cleaning us our, 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 our system, be it sewer, be it storm drain, be it catch basin, or even water main break. So the select board has as as which are very grateful in the recent meeting has approved for us a water maintenance guy label. To come in January first, hopefully with the, uh, uh, my projection and believe is that the town meeting is going to go ahead with that. So that label and somebody from highway, we have two guys who their job is to maintain the system. Right now we bring in we have to write the MS for municipal um, report or storm drain report for DEP. We have to clean catch basins. We're not able to clean a lot of catch basins, and we don't have many. Because of the cost, we are not able to um, our sewer system. We are not able to guarantee all the system because we by we are required to make sure that uh, you check all these things, which one we call because of leaks. Now there are many leaks that ha happens in the system, either because of trees or because of movement of the earth, or for some reason also part of this part of this region because of our cold weather. So. So they love. It. So the back truck happens to be a good one. So I'm, I'm, so I said that I would suggest to the select board, to Earth capital, and all the authorities to allow us to move that 140 that has been given, that we have right now. That was the reason why I have not purchased the water truck. 
to use that money as part of the six hundred and five dollars and thousand so that this way we'll be looking for four hundred and sixty five thousand uh, for and it to be paid by the by the three divisions of the DPWA, the water sewer and highway or general fund uh, now I also want to add some uh, add something to, to this 465 mr. chairman the we're not asking the town to give us this money complete right now. We have an old Vector truck. We still believe that Vector truck will serve another two years or so. So if the town can give us, within the next two, three years, we're able to accrue this fund, mm -hmm. so that, uh, because the old Vector truck we have right now, we, we think it still has at least two or three year lifespan, and we can use that the, the board has approved for us a label which comes up in coming January and we begin to enhance our maintenance programs of all this infrastructure. So How much does it cost to rent it, to have a contractor do it? it the, right now, because we go through the Franklin uh, government bidding yeah, process, FCA, yes, yeah, yeah. we have $195, $195 per hour. Okay. They come with a, a, with an, a, a, a truck and the driver. Then we also provide our own staff to go with them. Okay. So so when you look at the $185 per hour, mm -hmm. then you look at our the, the cost for our staff and our vehicle, um, it's expensive. So we are not able to sustain in mm -hmm. terms of our budget, yes. Mm -hmm. Now, is this old truck you're talking about the 1995 truck? Yes. That's, this is the one you're asking for $201,000? dollars because it's paid for out of three pockets. Mm -hmm. where it says We're just looking at the Vactor truck right now. Yeah, so where it says one of three. Yes. Yeah. And if you look at uh, sewer, you're going to find two of three. And if you look at water, you're going to find three of three for the same amount. So, Chris, can. What do the other um does everybody have their own Vector truck? I mean, all the other towns, or even yes. if we, down the road when we get this super duper beautiful Vector truck, can you have? Could you um, even rent it to the other towns? Oh, oh, ninety to ninety-five percent of the towns have their truck. Everybody has their own truck. Yeah, and then when they rent, they are not able to rent to sustain them. So just like we rented recently to be able to make our, our DEP report. So so it becomes a very big, and then some towns do not buy completely, but they rent to own. To own. Okay, yeah. they rent to own. Yeah, but um, okay. it's, um, it's a very, uh, especially uh, in today's moving forward, it's a very important tool because of the environment, because of a, a lot of uh, utilities. You want to maintain your utilities, these are the trucks and then somewhere along the line, uh, we also were thinking of having a camera attached to that truck. But now we, we rent a, a camera to go for us to investigate. It's a problem in the sewer line. Sewer line. We need a camera to go in there. So it is a problem in a storm drain. Sometimes we need a camera to go in there. And so the, these are the things that... Uh, I was just there. thinking though, um, because this isn't a truck you use on every single day, right? We use it every day. If you have, oh, that's you why use it every day. Right now we don't use it every, every day because we don't have personnel. But the select board just gave us a, a label. That truck should be on the road three to five days a week because in Hadley we have a lot of systems. We have the water, we have the sewer, we have the, uh, the storm drain. We have, uh, for example, in the past couple of years, with the rain and all this stuff, this truck, so we use through. this truck daily. Yeah, but right now we don't because we don't have personnel. So we, we use what we call a uh, quench fire, for lack of a better word, we use it for an emergency. We have our pump stations and well, wells, uh, they need to be cleaned or pump. Yeah. But we, don't, we don't have staff to do them every day. So, so now, you're, now you're hiring the people at 195 so we, an hour. Yeah, uh, but not every day. Well, it's once in a while because uh, the, we just have to do it to keep our system going. So, because you can't, you don't have the personnel, so you can't do this every day. No. So, when you get this big truck, you're still not going to be able to, you won't have the personnel, right? No, the select board has 
giving us approval to uh, yeah. yeah. So we we requested for two individuals, but Celebo gave us an individual. So we're gonna get somebody from Highway, and then the Celebo approved in the last meeting uh, to give us a label from water beginning in January. So we um so we um. Okay. We are, we are, we so are now kind you're going to get some. Like, yes, we're going to do more. Because what I was Mom thinking is, yes. is you get this, if you're not using it on a, on an everyday basis, then I was thinking, oh, you only use it so many weeks or so often, then you buy a truck and then why, I mean, we have a truck, why can't we share a truck with another town? Is that never heard of? No, that, that can be done, but that would be at the level of the select board or the town administrator to bring that Towns have done that. They, they've shared a lot of things. I mean, it's an expensive Mi truck. Mini municipal sharing of many M Most towns, what you share is things like, which, which that's one of the good things about the Franklin town of um, government because it brings, uh, uh, it brings, uh, it, it, helps, it helps in yeah. reducing the price. Towns have shared things like solid waste, uh, salt, uh, things yeah. like uh, maintenance of a, 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 a main a roads, yeah, but but in terms of back truck, you can do that. The other thing is, it's more complicated. Who is going to fix the truck? Yeah, who is going to be the mechanic? And then yeah, the, what the garage? Of yes, it? as a yes, yeah. that's like farming and sharing. Exactly. Like that, that only works for so long. Yeah. Exactly. You start pointing the finger. Finger. Like, exactly. Like, exactly. Yes. You broke it. <laughs> exactly. You've been using it more than me, but it broke on my watch. <laughs> yeah. And you're yeah. wearing wearing it down quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Useful yeah. life yeah. down. Correct. So you're also going to need three hundred and fifty thousand for a bay for the truck too. Yeah, we requested for it, babe, but that can that is not this fiscal year. We, that's gonna be for storage because such a truck right now we can put it. We have we have a bay and a wastewater um, wastewater division. So that will get we deferred to another year. Yes, it's in current year. Yes, we will put it there for for discussion. Yeah, because we we we're gonna get, we need the the time to give us the truck for then we will be able then we pursue the building. Yeah, we have a place to store. Okay. Yeah. And gas pumps, is that? Yeah, that's Mr. Chairman. We need the money for that right now because sometime during the summer, we had a problem with the gas pumps. Mm -hmm. And for a couple of, uh, so we we have, uh, we, ha we have to bring in different experts to take a look. Um, we finally have found the problem and they'll be coming in this Thursday to start fixing it. Well, um, I also called in uh, something from the state to give us some ideas, and so they referred us to various entities who came in, did the inspection, mm -hmm. and then, um, so we're asking that. Is it, uh, is the problem with pumps, or are they leaking, or? They, they think it's uh, the um, cat, 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 cathodes and uh, the anodes that uh, is they need to be replaced because uh, it's the, the last time they walked in it was 2006. Oh, okay. So they're gonna dig down and put a new, yeah. Okay. But the tanks are good, they're still, uh, the coach is uh, good, the coach is uh, very, they're double wall, so we are still there. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The locate and map DMH and CB that's built into this operational budget. So that doesn't need to be on here. Well, it does, but it's the funding is uh, it's under operations. Oh, oh, okay, it's under water. Okay, yeah. And what is that exactly? Not to we don't have to go over what DMH and CB mean. Manhole, yes, it's a it's manhole and a catch base and catch base, yes. okay. Uh, chapter 90 program 365, that's our chapter 90 for roads. Yeah, Mr. Chairman, I, I, it's another thing that I, I would like this uh, committee to kind of consider seriously. Yeah. Uh, I, will, I will ask that uh, we we'll begin to put some local funds together for roads mm -hmm. and sidewalks. Mm -hmm. The money we get from chapter 90 is never enough for us to do work. Yeah. And uh, we begin to see that, uh, apart from the roads themselves, we are not able to fix any sidewalk. And uh, many, we're getting a lot of calls for sidewalks. 
we can't, we don't have a fund, a lo no local money. Even uh, the money from Chapinel is very helpful, but we also do peace mills because if we use that money to do one major road, they say, look, we'll not have, uh, they, there's other roads to do, so we do a lot of peace mills. We have just to, yeah. uh, and then sometimes it's like we did nothing because we, they were, we're trying to get the money around. So I don't know if it might be a good idea if we begin to think about, even if it's 50 grand or 100 grand, just to put it aside, two, three years, it will grow to a point where the select board can tell us, okay, fix this sidewalk or do this. We have some local money to add to Chattanooga. Yeah. 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 No, that's true. Can we uh, use MassWorks for that additional funding? apply to MassWorks once every three years. We have an application in for $200,000 right now. I'm thinking about the gap between our chapter, I agree with you there, yeah. chapter 90 is not enough to keep our roads in good shape yeah. because we had the pavement management uh, program yeah. say you need to be putting in about 100 grand more per year just to keep everything sort of in a stable orbit. The, the thing about mass works, because it's a grant, uh, it's not. It's it may be it may be focused on one particular project, yeah. but it may not. I don't know if it, because the the town is not. You, we don't go out tight every year. Uh, there is nothing to put away every year. But whenever we go through mass grant, for example, like what you, we are working on right now, I believe we're gonna get something. But it's targeted to a particular. Mm -hmm. Project and then, yeah. for sidewalks or other roads repairs, I don't know if that would be only area that the town can take a look at. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we don't have a place uh, for like the highway for stuff like this, right? We don't have a um, a reserve fund. No. That they, you can keep putting away money to save a little bit every year. No, we don't. We don't because, have anything like because that. Because it it's like, like, general fund. It goes two, back. two things on here we could be doing yeah. something like that for. Okay. How does that work, David? You know, I would think because if we're just going to put it in their in their budget, that doesn't work because it, then it rolls back to free cash. They need to. I mean, and it's it's like if they had a little bit every year. Yes, put aside for something. Yeah, the select board can well, monitor that for us. We're doing that with the water filtration uh, uh, units, okay? So it's a $260,000 job. The water filtration units last 10 years, so we're putting 26,000 away for 10 years out of um, water reserves. Yeah, so because so the water has its reserves, the sewer has reserves, but the highway doesn't have reserves. Yeah. Is that a special purpose? And that's what I'm saying. Is to put together a special purpose stabilization fund. Because uh, a lot of uh, our infrastructure is, for example, Mr. Chairman, uh, I know, uh, but you know this better than me. You look at uh, Huntington or uh, Rocky Hill or uh, South Maple. These are big traffic roads, but they're local roads. Yeah. And so there's nothing that the chapter that we have right now cannot do much for us. And these roads, they need a major attention because of the volume. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. Sure. Mm -hmm. Toll books. That's a good point. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <Sure>. Good idea. <laughs> <laughs> what, what about oil and stone? How's that work? Uh, no, I, good? oil and stone, stone is not uh, the best option. No, no, he, he, he's, uh, oh, he's not oh, the best option. We used to do a lot of that around here. Yeah, but then there was no much traffic. There was no, the weather, right now we have more cold weather and uh, very cold. Some, sometimes uh, it, the oil is not able to handle it and the, 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 comp, the road is very, is compacting and expanding. So, the oil is, and then we also have plowing. Right. Now the, 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 the plow, Take away the stones with time. It throws it on your lawn. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why it's a, a, you may you may you may be able to do more roads or more area that way, but in the long run it's not. Uh, mm -hmm. It doesn't 
Yeah. Overlay with major asphalt is better. Yeah, but you pay for it. Yes. Okay. Uh, do you guys have anything else on that? I'm just trying to move it along because I yeah. <laughs> get them all pretty soon. So double drum. Uh, yeah. No, double drum factor. I actually don't know what that is. Like that. Yeah. That's like a little roller. Yes. To go along with that's that a, hot box. That's a that's that's good. That's that's a, for compacting too. When we paving road, the machine. We, right now, what we have is uh, vertically less than one ton. It cannot compact uh, as for properties and woods. Yeah. Okay. Now the, the 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 board and the tank give us uh, hot box at last. Yeah. 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 Last so we're, we're, we're working on getting that right now in the place. Yes. And this would help with that, basically. Yes. yes. Right. And how uh, much is that? Which one? How many? Sixty thousand. Number two. Yes. Uh, second down under yes. the highway. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, we're up there. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. And then just to cross off the top of our list, we got the International 7600 replacing a 1995 truck, I'm assuming. Dump truck? On the top of the list? First one. First one, yeah. Yeah, we, um, we, 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 we are replacing that, that truck with a smaller truck. That's a ten wheeler truck. Yeah, uh, yes. We are playing with a six wheeler truck, which uh, br brings the money very down substantially. Okay. And how is and, and what kind of condition is that current truck in now? So. Uh, it's, it has is uh, he has lived his lifespan. We we are managing it, but we don't use it often because uh, I was told the history on that truck was. Um, years ago, they had to haul materials from long distance. Oh. There was no a, a, a sun. That time they were still using sun. And but today we use salt, and uh, many of our roads you can't put that ten wheel on the roads. No. So, so last last winter, how many times did you use it? We use it a lot on the main road. On the main road. On the main uh, road. Yes. That's the only way we use it more for right uh, now. It's parked in the garage. Oh. We use it to because it's ten wheeler. We've only used it twice now to go to Grand B in Connecticut to pick up uh, um, sumps and risers for basins. Oh. Yeah. So it's so that so what we need to replace the truck, but I I don't need ten wheeler. I just need a smaller six wheeler truck. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you have a price for that? Or do you want to develop a price for that? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Is that with the two hundred and five thousand dollars? The, the, the two hundred five. Eight, yes. With that, that's it. That, but but I think uh, when we go out, we'll get it less than that. That was the price we got from uh, one vendor, based on the. Uh, and that's six wheels. Right yeah, now. six wheels there with um, plow and with plow and uh, sander. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and then we've got Dyke Phase Three certification. I will leave that to Dave. You want to talk about that? Yeah. So <clears throat> we've been. Getting going at the dike for several years now in order to make sure that uh, we understood it as a critical piece of your infrastructure. We've done the freeboard analysis, which means you know how tall is the dike versus how high does the water get in a 100-year flood. And the good news is that the dike is higher than the water, except in two places on the West Street Common, the bike path where it crosses the West Street. Those are lower than the high water, but that's easily uh, addressed with sandbags or berms or something mm -hmm. like that in an emergency. We've done a slope stability and subsurface uh, analysis. There's a lot of work that was identified in that um, in that project. There was a uh, the slopes are too steep. Uh, the dike is not big enough. Um, there's not a lot in the way of internal structuring of the dike so that it is susceptible to sloughing and breaching and other things like that. I mean, that makes it sound very scary, but we at least have a plan. This would be the final phase of that analysis to look at what do we need to do to certify this dike in order to meet the Army Corps of Engineers requirements or FEMA requirements for uh, flood dikes, um, and uh, so 
this is this is the logical progression. We have been contacted by an engineering outfit working for FEMA that says we want to take a look at your dike. They were coming to town, then they decided not to, and so everything is on hold right now. So to the degree to which we can continue to be proactive about diaper uh, study, um, that uh, will only benefit us later on. So the phase one, I don't remember how much was that. Was that 200,000? And phase no, two? Phase two was 200,000. Phase one was like 130 or something like that. So this is two. 530,000 for study? Yes. That's not even the work. That's just for the study. Yeah. But this, and, this then, and then it's going to get old. <laughs> well, it's already old. I mean, you're talking about the diaper, the studies. Well, the study is going to get old by the time we get to do the work. Yeah. Right? <laughs> well, this doesn't it help if we have the certification? Does it help with getting more help to actually do the work? Right? Yeah, Isn't helps. it an investment toward doing the work? Isn't that my, yeah. my understanding? So your, your basic situation is, is that dikes are highly regulated. They haven't made it that far up to the uh, Connecticut River, but you look at the headlines coming out of Chicopee, Agawam, West Springfield, Springfield, uh, the kinds of uh, dike issues that they're dealing with down there, that's only going to come up the, 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 the valley and they'll start looking at some of these smaller dikes and Hatfield, uh, Hadley, Northampton, places like that. Um, your dike was built somewhere after the Civil War using the techniques of the day. Um, no plans that we have been able to find. Um, when I first came here, we were on the dike management uh, uh, program, which meant that it broke, and then we'd rush and patch it together, and then wait another 20 years, and then it would break, and then we'd patch it together uh, again. Uh, so after this most recent episode, which was back in 2009, I want to say, um, I said, this is a critical piece of infrastructure. We know nothing about it. Uh, it's been damaged in various floods and, and uh, high water events. Um, let's start looking at it like we would look at the water pipes, the sewer system, the storm drain system, the, the roads. Yeah, just that's a, that's a so, lot of money for just a study. I, can, did you get an, enough in, any good information from the first two phases to tell us, are we going to be, is this an immediate thing? Are we going to have to start the work soon? Um, what did what kind of information did you get from the first two studies to help us along with how much it's going to cost? Yeah. So the first the first one, as I said, was the freeboard analysis, so that identified the weight place and the dike like system, which is the most common. Right. All right. So that's easily addressed. So it, it identified a weak spot. Yeah. And an, an, an estimate of is that weak? Are are we going to need to put this in in the budget soon? Like like fix that weak spot when you well, say weak the, spot? Well, the weak spot would be the road going over the, um, over the, uh, the bike path. Mm -hmm. That's too mm -hmm. low right there. So, okay. you know, we could raise the road or raise the bike path uh, in that one place. Oh, yeah. Cross path there? Yeah, uh, not cross path. Not there. Oh, uh, no, West, West Street Common. Oh, there. Right there. Huh. How about a cross path? That's, that's okay. That's fine. Really? Yeah. Okay. But there is a like a culvert that goes underneath the bike path as well. It's a problem. <laughs> There's a few areas that are issues. Mm -hmm. um, but West Street so far in from the dike existing. What am I missing here? Well, uh, we don't have a map of Hadley. So if you if you think about the dike, it starts somewhere in the vicinity of the elementary yeah. school. Goes westerly to cross path, turns. then turns south, and then it connects up with the bike path, and then the bike path all the way back to uh, uh, about Town Hall. That bike path, even though it's not never constructed as a dike, serves as a dike. Mm -hmm. It's owned by the Department of uh, Conservation and Recreation. Uh, so it's a state-owned property, but it's part of the flood and protection system that's protecting the center of town. There's some culverts in the uh, the dike on the bike path portion. Uh, 
Uh, there's actually a culvert at the top of North, uh, of, uh, north Lane 2. Um, we have to close it every uh, spring. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the slope stability uh, work is uh, a little bit more concerning because there are a lot of areas that need to be addressed. And that, yeah, that's kind of a thing. What do you do? F how do you change the slope of the dike in what spots? I, 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 I get your point. Like, why are we spending money on actually doing work? But I feel like it's also this. I don't know about dike construction and what the proper ways are. And I, I agree. Know, I just, don't just don't like dumping something there is probably not the right thing to do. You exactly. Know? But yeah. then again, you don't want to keep yeah. having spending money on a study, study just study, to study. put it in a yeah. back yeah, room yeah, yeah, yeah. and never touch it. I'm like, so I would have thought that we would have found just from the first couple, you know, at least all the money that we put in it so far like would show is this is is this an urgency is do we have to do this i mean because if we don't do this for 10 years that might, we're not even going to know things change and you know just yeah, stick it I in a room too, and the hope is that yeah, with people good. looking at this these things if we already are at the point where we kind of know what we need to do it might be easier to get some grant funding to help us with fixing it requisite where study. where yeah. other towns if they haven't done this work then they're kind of looking at everything that we already looked at you know, and right. might get some preferential help to do that. I, that's, I mean, that's kind of projecting, yeah. so that's not sure. guaranteed, but I think that's kind of the hope. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, basically, you don't know what you have. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So we, we've done some studies. We now have identified some weaknesses, but we haven't completed that investigation as to what do you have. There is the municipal vulnerability planning grant, which we're working on right now, uh, the study phase of that, which would open up the, uh, the uh, doors for grant money in substantial funds next year, isn't it? Yeah, next year. So, it's up to you. We could take that 200,000 and start working on the dike, or we could take the 200,000 and find out what, what, what we do. Well, I'm not know. an expert in that. I just feel like it's just a lot of money and we have a lot of studies around here we don't use. Them. Yeah. <laughs> and I want to spend yeah, another yeah. 200 and yeah. put just it in the back room does not sound good to me. See us jeopardize yeah. potential uh, sources of help if, 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 if we don't have it. Yeah. yeah. And then we're behind the eight ball if we don't have it. And I Something hate to keep, keep moving us ahead. Right. But I'm Ready? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So camera and gear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, is that is that just a is that a yeah, that's, that's part of the okay. earlier I was talking about the back truck. Yeah, that's part of that. Okay, it's yes. part of the back truck. Okay, okay. Third from the, Third from the bottom of the oh, highway yeah. in twenty twenty. Yep. Okay. Okay, and then wastewater. We have sewer line assessment. That's one we've been doing, right? Yes. Yes. That's kind of been an ongoing thing. Okay. Yes. And that's just cameraing them and then seeing if there are weak spots and possibly relining them yes. if, if need be. Yes. And that's under sewer lining and repairs. It's right yes. in that same ballpark. Yes. Or same area. Then we have expansion of capacity study. Yes. Another study. Yes. <laughs> another study. <laughs> another study. <laughs> another study. <laughs> Well, I, 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 let's pause here for a moment and just say that, you know, we study in order to understand. Yeah. We've been very successful in using these studies in order to advance. So, you know, I, I have a whole shelf full of studies downstairs where in past years, yeah, it's true, people did a study and then it got shelved, but mm -hmm. I think we've had a much better track record of actually using studies to move things forward and, and and for our sewer plant this is kind of a I mean this is key we are at yeah a, a kind of a critical capacity of our sewer plant and yeah you know not doing anything no I is, think you need, you need yeah. to get that done especially when there's articles in the paper saying all the Northampton businesses are moving to Hadley right yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's great that's <laughs> Okay, seal coat plant, what is that? Yeah, the, um, uh, Mr. Chairman, I remember uh, when the DP and EPA came in, mm -hmm. one of the things they want us to do is to kind of basically um, pave the uh, the plant. So seal coat is just one of the cheapest ways to just put a black black tar on 
Okay. Oh, okay. Yes. So, so we're going. Oh, to so it's cheap. dirt right now. Yeah, well, it's an, it's asphalt, but it's old. It, it's it, old. It's oh, okay. okay. Yeah, it, it needs to be re. Okay. Redone. Okay. So we we asking for just this for uh, the cheapest we could do, as okay. opposed to spending too much money on it. Okay, but this was a requirement of the DEP you yes. wanted this. Okay. Okay. Water. Hydrant and valve replacement. Yes. It's ongoing. That's ongoing. Yes. Callahan well filter replacement. David referred to that one yes, earlier. Ongoing. That's one we're just as ongoing to going. Yes. Valves replacement. Yes. Is that similar? Yes. That's one we've been doing. And then replace water main at Bay Road Bridge. Is this pending the project? Yeah. Bay Road Bridge replacement, kind of yes. going along with that? Yes. So it's allocating money for that when that happens. Yes. Yeah. Do you guys have any questions on that one? Or? Mm -hmm. And then we got a, we got a truck, Ford F-350. Yes. It's, it's an old truck that uh, was given to the water by highway division and uh, it's been costing more money than the truck is worth. Okay. So, okay. We also have an uh, addition to this. Um, oh, yeah. The, the fencing of the uh, water, water tanks. Now, we, the goal, the goal, Mr. Chairman, is to see where we can. With the with the vulnerability studies, if we can get some money, but for now the DEP feels that we should just put fencing will do for now until we come up with some money for major security on the uh, tanks. Right now, this the, is uh, at the sewer. The water tanks at the uh, water, water tanks. Yeah. Water tanks. Yeah, yeah. We up north up in North Hadley. Yes, they on the map. The tanks are marijuana. Yeah, yeah. Now, the DP is concerned that uh, we they are not secured, and we told them that uh, we are um, working on getting grants. Mm -hmm. But they think if we can put some fencing before December, they would like to get a, even a temporary fence. Okay. But that would require some money. To, we're going to take out a lot of trees. And uh, we also, Do we have an estimate on that or anything? Yeah, we're asking. We're asking for about sixty thousand because of the fence and trees. Tree walk is very expensive. Yeah, and did we do the cleaning over there that we were going to do? The, yes, the trimming and everything. Yes. Right, so sixty thousand for fencing and trees. Yeah. Okay. And that's where I, I didn't miss. Mount Warner. Mount Warner. Mount Warner. Warner. The wells. The, water up there. the wells. Okay. The tanks up there. I'm sorry. Okay. The wells from the tanks. And we use those tanks. Yes, yeah. that's what yeah. the water is. Mm -hmm. Storage. Okay, and that's a DEP requirement. Yes. Is that on here? No, it's not. No, on not, here. no it's not. So we have to add it. Yeah, we'll have to add it. It's yeah. yeah. 60,000. Mm -hmm. 60, okay, that's what it's on. Okay. And then last but not least, we have DPW buildings. We have town hall locks, basically yeah. town hall security. Yeah, Mr. Chairman, you know, since I've been on board, I've been asking the town to take a look at the town hall. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not too comfortable the way the town hall is right now. I've spoken to the board, I've spoken to the town administrator. I'll see if we can get uh, um, camera and also some fire blocks, whereby right now we cannot guarantee who has the key to town hall. Mm -hmm. And then in my research, uh, many of the staff here also, uh, they, many of them have keys and, and they also, different boards have different keys. Um, we don't know who comes in and goes. So I was, so that's why we're asking that the board should give us some money to basic, just a, bit, a basic fire, so we know who owns the fire, mm -hmm. what time you come in, what time you leave, and uh, also simple one or two cameras to, so that uh, both, at least if not inside, but outside who comes in and, and who goes out. Mm -hmm. So that's... Um, is this for general security? Yes. I'm just wondering, is this anything we could get a grant for or some money for in the state budget? Like we, we worked on the body cams, is there anything you think we could do 
if that's um, town hall security, is there anything we could do there? The vulnerability ground that we're looking for, that may be part of the in the future, uh, yeah, enhanced security for but uh, we, we're just talking about uh, different things the, the dike, yeah. uh, the water tanks, town hall, yeah. um, but I, I don't know, maybe not in either. terms of grants. But, uh, yeah. but, uh, Chris is uh, talking about is that uh, we've been very successful building a one capital project into the state budget okay. every year. So uh, last year we were able to get $75,000 for the Council on Aging mm -hmm. project. This year we got uh, $46,000 for body cameras for the police department. In the prior years we've gotten police cruisers, we've paid, gotten $100,000 for the, the dam replacement up in North Adley. So that's what Chris is talking yeah. about, is whether we can shepherd something through on the state budget. Mm -hmm. uh, the answer is yes, whether this is su sufficiently yeah. sexy for the, uh, the, the legislature and the governor to sign off on. Uh, I'll explore that with our rep. Yeah, I saw him today. Yeah. No, I see also on the municipal building part, they had $28,000 in there for security systems. Yeah. Is that a duplicate? That's a duplicate, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And that is that something we had a quote on the the the, the security the the key fobs and the cameras. Yes, Mr. Chairman, I got a quote from the the vendor that we use <coughs> for the um, safety complex. Okay. Yeah, he, yeah. I just I told him I just needed some numbers for budget purposes. Okay. Okay. And the cameras would be monitored at like the police station or. What? It, it depends on what the select board wants. Uh, it might be the police or it might be. Uh, my have it here and then the dispatch can monitor mm -hmm. the chairman can also look at it depends on how the board decides no, I can I can look at it or yeah. the plan administrator can look at it so it depends on how the board yeah. but, but at least there will be some not everybody will have access to it yeah yeah so, so. okay okay <laughs> You guys have any more questions? Uh, no. No. Anything else? No. Okay. All right. Well, if we don't have anything That's else, it. we can just make a motion to adjourn. Motion. Right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you all. Thank you all. Thank yeah. You. Thank you for staying and going through all that. Yeah. There's a, there's a lot of hefty lists. Hefty lists. Well, Amy, I'm seeing you at 6.30, right? Tomorrow. 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 Oh, my, today I got another meeting. <laughs> tomorrow, <laughs> yes. Yes. I do have a, yes, that's tomorrow, 6.30 finance. Here. Do, do, you, do you need public works to come in tomorrow? Oh, we're all set. <laughs> we're all set. <laughs> So I have a question, it could be Chris and, and David. Um, I know that one time you talked about at, um, an inventory list. Yes. Do, do you have that? Can, can we it's see the, it? It's in, the, it's in the works. I can, oh. I can, what I can give you right now is I can give you the schedule for the insured buildings and equipment. So I'll make sure you have that. But right now we're going through a capital assets survey. So yeah, we did that. Funded, we funded last time. So it's not yet. What's that? So why don't yes. I give you the yes. um, the assets thank you. based upon our hey, schedule? Yeah, thank you. I'm gonna run out. Thank you, Chris. Yeah. yeah, have a good night. Bye. Yeah. Yeah. See you. Yeah. See you, Dick. Okay. And uh, when as soon as the capital assets uh, uh, review is done, I'll make sure you have a copy of that.